Extinction has a clear definition, gone forever. Or does it? New advances using gene editing tools like CRISPR or targeted breeding rapidly lead researchers to consider returning certain species from extinction. But these projects are controversial for many reasons. Should we reintroduce animals that evolved and went extinct eons ago into a world utterly alien to them? Welcome to Hidden Facts. Today we're talking about dead animals scientists are close to reviving. Number 5. The legendary cat is ready to be back. Saber-toothed cats are a group of extinct predatory mammals characterized by their long, curved canine teeth, which could measure up to 12 inches in length. These cats belong to the family Felidae, which includes modern-day cats, thought to have evolved around 42 million years ago. Saber-toothed cats are most commonly associated with the genus Smilodon, which lived in the Americas during the Pleistocene epoch 2.6 million to 11,700 years ago. Smilodon species were apex predators that preyed on large herbivores like bison and mammoths. They were heavily muscled and had short, robust limbs, indicating that they were adapted for ambush-style attacks rather than pursuit predation. Although the exact reason for the extinction of saber-toothed cats is unknown, climate change and human hunting pressure may have played a role. Today, scientists are exploring the possibility of bringing back saber-toothed cats through genetic cloning. Still, it remains to be seen whether this will ever be possible. Do you think scientists will succeed? Number 4. Great Auk The Great Auk was a flightless bird species that went extinct in the mid-19th century. It was one of the largest auk family members, including birds like puffins and razorbills. The Great Auk was around 30 to 33 inches tall and weighed around 11 pounds. Great Auks were found in the North Atlantic, primarily around Newfoundland, Iceland, and Greenland. They were highly adapted to life in the water, with wings that were more like flippers and a streamlined body that allowed them to swim rapidly and dive to depths of up to 230 feet to catch fish. The great auk was heavily hunted for its meat, eggs, and feathers. Unfortunately, this led to species becoming extinct in the mid-1800s. Some researchers are currently exploring efforts to bring back the great auk through cloning or other genetic techniques. Enjoying the video so far? Then make sure to click the like and subscribe buttons. Number 3. Half Zebra, Half Horse? The quagga was a subspecies of the plain zebra native to South Africa. The animal had a distinctive appearance, with stripes only on the front half of its body and a brownish or tan-colored coat on the back half. It was smaller than most other zebra subspecies and had a more horse-like head. Quaggas were once abundant across much of South Africa. Unfortunately, they were heavily hunted for their meat and hides and targeted as a threat to livestock grazing. By the late 1800s, the species was considered extinct in the wild. In recent years, scientists have explored the possibility of de-extincting the quagga through selective breeding of plain zebra populations with the closest genetic match to the extinct subspecies. This effort has been dubbed the Quagga Project and focuses on breeding zebras with the quagga's unique stripe pattern. The Quagga Project has successfully produced animals that look like the extinct quagga. However, there is still debate over whether these animals genuinely represent the original subspecies or simply a closely related population of plain zebras. Do you believe these animals can be considered original quagga? Number 2. The Largest Deer Ever The Irish elk is an extinct species of deer that lived during the Pleistocene and early Holocene epochs, around 2.6 million to 7,700 years ago. Despite its name, the Irish elk was not closely related to the modern-day elk. Instead, it was a type of deer that stood over 6.5 feet tall at the shoulder and had massive, elaborately branched antlers that could span up to 11.5 feet across. The Irish elk was found across much of Europe and Western Asia and was one of the largest deer species ever. Despite its impressive size, the animal was relatively slender and graceful in appearance and likely browsed on leaves and shrubs rather than grazing on grasses like many modern deer. The Irish elk was thought to have gone extinct due to various factors, including climate change, human hunting, and competition with other herbivores. Although this species is now extinct, its fossils have been found in many parts of the world. Its distinctive antlers are prized by collectors in natural history museums. In recent years, there has been some interest in using genetic techniques to potentially de-extinct the Irish elk or create a similar species through selective breeding of modern-day deer. Have you ever seen a deer in real life? Number 1. The Only American Parrot The Carolina parakeet was a small, brightly colored parrot species native to the eastern United States, primarily in the southeastern states. The bird was about 12 inches long with green and yellow feathers, a red-orange face and bill, and a yellow head. 
It was the only parrot species native to the eastern United States and had an important part of the region's ecosystems. It fed on fruits and seeds and spread seeds as they traveled. However, the species was heavily hunted for its colorful feathers, used in the millinery trade to decorate hats and other accessories. This fact, plus a habitat loss caused by deforestation, led to a rapid decline in Carolina parakeet populations in the late 1800s. The species was declared extinct in 1939. Some researchers are exploring efforts to bring back the Carolina parakeet through cloning, but there are many technical challenges associated with this. The species' habitat has changed significantly since its extinction, and it's still being determined whether there would be suitable habitats for the birds today. What animal would you like to see back to live first? Let us know in the comments section. Remember to like, share, and subscribe so you can enjoy the excellent content we send your way.